let's try and talk to Ted Bundy today. Can you get him for me? Got him? Ted, when you're there, can you come through and clearly say your name? Welcome back to Enchanted Bayou. My name is Cassandra and today we are at one of my very favorite cemeteries. It is a very scary cemetery though. It is um, called the Cedarhurst Cemetery in Laporte, Texas and it is very old. I think the newest grave in the cemetery is maybe like 100 years old or so. So it's kind of spooky out here. Um, pretty abandoned out here. The city does take care of it and keep it up nice. But the reason that I came out here today is because I was not going to talk to Ted Bundy in my home. Um, a lot of people I don't mind inviting to come in my home. You know, like uh, XXX Tentacion, he was fine. Um, Robin Williams, Lorraine Warren, but Ted Bundy was not going to be one that I wanted to invite in my home. Especially if he stuck around and I had to deal with him. I mean, he was evil when he was alive. I can't imagine how much more evil he is now. Now, why am I doing that in a cemetery and, and possibly bringing him out to this cemetery? This cemetery is known for its demons anyway. It is very well known for people taking pictures of demons out here. I've encountered demons out here to the point that it actually even scared me and, and, and I kind of like going demon hunting, I guess you could say sometimes, but this one actually pretty much scared me out here. So it's a creepy place. This video might be a little short. We're going to go ahead, we're going to do a spirit box, try and contact Ed Bundy. I always um, ask for the help of my guides, which is Ethan and E. You'll hear them. Uh, their videos are, or their voices are pretty much in every video that I've done, at least Ethan's is. Uh, he comes through and he talks a lot. Um, I don't cut any of the noise out. All my stuff is unedited, so you can see the full spirit box session from start to finish. Nothing added in except for... Uh, what I hear on the screen, you will see on the screen. It is getting creepy out here. Creepy, creepy, creepy. It just felt like someone was standing next to me. Okay, please no, not let anyone be standing next to me while I'm doing this. Um, I have a military specialist review all my stuff, so everything that we agree on that's in the video, uh, we go through with major technology and technical equipment to review these spirit box sessions so that we can let you guys know what is really being said through the spirit box session. So uh, let's get into the spirit box and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, here's the spirit box we're gonna be using. PSB7. I'm not gonna use the app because it's pretty freaky out here. Ethan, are you there? an E. Can you please come through? No one else. I already gave everyone else a chance to talk. Ethan and E, if you could please come through to me and let me know that you're there. Quickly, because it's creepy out here. Yes, you have to. You know better, Ethan. <laughs> okay, come on. Okay. Um, I would like to try and talk to Ted Bundy today. Can you get him for me? Got him? Ted, when you're there, can you come through and clearly say your name? That sound like his voice that gave me like shivers down my spine. So Ted, when you're there, can you come through? Hello? Ethan and E, can you teach him how to talk better? Okay. Okay. 
Hey, just Ethan E and Ted. That's the only people I want to talk to right now. What? Ted, I have some questions I'd like to ask you. Are you there? No one knows how many women you truly killed, but you, can you tell us? Okay, don't like growling. What is the name of your first victim? Ted, you spoke about it about when you killed people, it was like having an entity with you. Now that you were on the other side, was it truly an entity that was with you? Are you free of that entity now? What is life like on the other side for you now? What is it like now that you're dead? Just head, please. If you could tell everyone one thing, what would you tell them? That's creepy. One of the detectives that interviewed you a lot said that when you were talking about your killings, a white welt would form on your left cheek, a very pronounced white welt. Was that because you were possessed? Sorry that spirit box session got cut short. My camera just died um, and I have been having some creepy experiences out here. So I'm going to take that as my cue to leave. If you guys want me to try and come out and reach Ted Bundy again, I um, might very well do that. I'm not feeling threatened or anything, just having creepy stuff kind of going on around me. I do want you to know though that uh, coming up a couple videos that I'm going to do in continuation with the whole Ted Bundy interview, I want to try and reach out to who everyone believes is his first victim or who most people believe is his first victim, which was a little girl that lived right down the street from him. Uh, when he was growing up, well, right down the street from his uncle. So we want to try and reach out to her. And also something that is really cool that I'm really excited about there was a secret court hearing on Ted Bundy. And by secret, I mean hardly anyone knew about this. This happened in the middle of the night and it was to, it was to try and figure out, um, get some details from him about the women that he had killed in Colorado. And so I actually know the court reporter who was there and she's going to give me an exclusive interview on how creeped out she was, what went on in that that hearing, and everything. And this is secret. It's I've never seen anyone speak out on this before. I couldn't find anyone from that hearing. No one even talked about that hearing. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel because that is going to be coming up soon. Uh, she has a lot of amazing things to say and will really creep you out if trying to come out here and talk to him in the Demon Cemetery didn't do that already. I'm creeped out though. 
I'm gonna get out of here. I hope y'all are doing well and love y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye.